a look at this. Our operator inside Area 51 was able to get this out to us. This is your entry point, a deserted helipad on the edge of the base. The lift down to the hangars and the rendezvous point is beyond that wall. Watch out for these guards. Here's the communications antenna. Attach a comms right above so we can talk to you when you're inside the base. Again, watch out for hostiles. God. Here is our friend. He appears to be physically in heart, though he hasn't regained consciousness yet. By the look of it, the surgeons are almost done with a preliminary test, and we'll begin the section soon. <laughs> Any questions? No. Good. Away you go to the hangar. Agent Dark, Mission Log, 1028 hours. Against my better judgment, I'm about to enter Area 51. <gasps> Hello everyone, and welcome to the Prince Magnum channel, where hot rodding and romance do coexist. I'm your host, Prince Magnum. Welcome to another episode of Perfect Dark. As you can tell by this episode, we are now inside, well, we're trying to make our way inside Area 51. Now, one of the things that we have to be very wary of is automated turrets. And uh, those automated turrets decide that we're that we're a tasty target. They will unload on us, and it's going to get ugly from there. So we have to be very, very careful. <coughs> All right, so far so good. There was. All right. Let's switch back to our Falcon 2. Because we got to take out that tower, but we're going to have to do it very interesting like. Um, because I have no sniper rifle, nothing long range per se. So we're going to have to do this. Very careful, like. I think I got him. Got him. All right. Very careful, very careful. Okay. So the next part of this, we have to get inside there. Um, here, real quick. There's what we have to do. We have to shut down the uh, air intercept radar, which that's going to require an explosive device. We have to gain access to this hangar lift, which that's forthcoming and of course last but definitely not least we have to get in touch with a Carrington Institute spy who's already inside area 51 so we have to get in touch with him all right so first things first got him from here it's going to get kind of tough because bad guys will start coming after me. Gosh, I hope this button still works. Yeah, we're good. Now, bad
bad guys are going to start coming after me from here. I do not want them to have a chance to take me down. So we're going to come down here. We're going to make sure that we get them before they get us. And there's uh, weapons to work with. Okay. Back up, back up, back up. Got to get out of range of that, that turret. Hang on, Joanna. There it was. Hot damn. We're in business. Holy dog shit! Forgot about that! My God. Okay, that's what we needed. Now we can breathe a little bit easier because from here... Alright. Lower that antenna. do that. In other, you know, when you scale up the difficulty, they ask you to put this bug on that antenna. This time we don't have to do that, uh, but I know in other versions of this, uh, you will. Aha, uh -huh, there we go, bad guys. Got him. Now, very quickly, we could go in there, but that's a good way to get our ass blown up, so we are definitely not doing that. Alright. Doors locked, your ass. Guess we gotta come up here and do it again. They got smart to me. Main gate. Ooh. Making, we're making our way in. Alrighty, so let's grab our Falcon 2 back out. Be very careful. That wasn't very careful, was it? Let 
Let's go ahead and just get a grenade. <laughs> take out uh, these machines so for that we have explosives okay oh it's gonna get ugly from here oh boy the ladder. Up the ladder. Seven seconds. There we go. Any more? And who says that uh, I don't know how to have a blast? <laughs> Alrighty. You could go out there. I just don't recommend it. Uh, because if you go out there, you better know what you're doing. Uh, because there's like, there's like landmines out there. So we don't, we don't push it. Let's go ahead and... Uh, there we go. Got our key card. Think it'll be Yep, that one. Alrighty. Very good cover, buddy. Got him that time. Shot him in the tally whacker. Shot him in the tally whacker. That'll teach him to be a dick. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, oh, more bad guys. More bad guys. Got him. All right. Let's 
see if I can remember how to do this. Alright, last but not least, we gotta make contact with our spy, our spy buddy. Again, this is one of those games, now we're getting deeper into the storyline. Holy crap, that's a lot of them. Holy crap, here they come. So far, so good. Now, later on <coughs> in storyline, uh, well, you guys will see. It, it, it's definitely interesting. I know at some point we'll have to go to a hangar and... Yeah. It is dark. There you are. I was beginning to wonder if... If what? If you'd been discovered yet. And frankly, if this is how you work... I'm amazed that you lasted longer than five minutes. I was tidying up one of your loose ends. My loose ends? I'm sorry, I didn't realize you wanted him to shoot you. I can call in some more guards if you like. Okay, okay, forget about it. I'm going to let these shoot know we've made contact. And there we have it. Another one to the books. Uh, this is what, episode 7? Episode 7 of Perfect Dark. Very much, a, you know, we're in Area 51 now. And uh, the objective now is to help uh, Daniel Carrington's alien friend who was shot down over the Nevada desert. Okay. And as I was kind of talking about it, you know, later on in you know, uh, the storyline, we will get to use that hangar uh, to help a certain aircraft escape. We'll get to that, uh, but, you know, that's kind of a little bit later, a couple episodes later. I don't want to give away too much, uh, but, yes, we are rescuing an alien, so it's going to be really exciting from here as far as that goes. Uh, again, if you're enjoying this, uh, stick around. You know, uh, we're going to... I've been convinced, even if uh, the you know to do you know to continue this uh, the series for a few people, they really asked me to keep going with this, and I said okay, you know, uh, because it's had so, you know I guess you could say some interest and uh, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, it's had it's had quite a bit of interest from just a handful of people, and then a few people kind of come in and watch it as they go along. So. Uh, with that being said, so we will continue on with the series, and we will go as far as I could possibly go. I will be absolutely honest with you. I'm having troubles with one mission right now. Uh, something about the way these games are done, you kind of have to beat it, and then you can go back and then beat it a little bit easier. But it's so, 
So you guys get the best possible gameplay. I have to go and beat it first, beat that level first, and then I gotta film it. So as silly as that might sound. That's just kind of how they did the game. I don't know why. Just one of them things. Alrighty. So that brings us to the end of episode 7. Uh, be sure to get over to Teespring. Check out all the Prince Magnum Channel merchandise. All proceeds go back into the project cars. Uh, get over to Patreon. One dollar a month. And uh, it grants you access to Cinnamon's Discord. And of course all proceeds go back into the project cars. Alrighty. So there we have that little bit of... Uh, you know, a little bit to work with, and before we go into the usual, uh, you know, outro, uh, again, if you're enjoying this, leave a comment, leave a like, all right, that being said, get out there and work on a project, don't care what it is, just do something with yourselves, remember, idle hands and a creative mind go together like oil and water, if you have a sweetheart, sweep them off their feet and do something special for them today, and as always, for every last one of you out there, if no one out there has told you that they love you today, Prince Magnum does. God bless you, and have a happy 24. Thank you.